All right, guys, good morning. Um, I'm doing this in the morning, so maybe that's what I should say. Anyway, so I'm going to walk through the, the answers to this um, and explanations as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing them. Um, level three, um, you got to live in level three. Um, it's not just about the what, but it's about the why. So I'm going to work through these, and hopefully uh, this will help you out. And, of course, email me um, if you have any questions as you work through it. All right, guys, let's work out finding the midpoint on number one. Finding the midpoint on number one, if you remember, the midpoint formula is, oops, wrong, this is the right one. So we're going to look at finding uh, the midpoint on number one. To do that is the average of the x-coordinates. So we add them up and divide by two, and the average of the y-coordinates. And that will be the midpoint on the coordinate graph. So this would be 6 over 2, which should just be 3. That would be negative 7 over 2, and we're just going to leave it as negative 7 over 2. That would be the midpoint, my friends. Um, okay, find the midpoint of segment on here. Okay, sure. Um, average of the x's. And then the average of the y coordinates. And then we go ahead and negative 100 plus 12 is negative 88 divided by 2 is negative 44. And um, 55 minus 6 plus negative 16 divided by 2 is actually going to reduce to 39 over 2. So 50, 55 plus negative 16 is 39. And there's a midpoint. If you remember, you can also use the midpoint formula, which is this guy. Um, X1 plus X2, Y1 plus Y2 over 2, the midpoint formula. Okay, we can keep going. Now, this one's number 3 is a little bit weird, but we're looking for the midpoint, so we just need to focus that all we need to worry about is using that formula or averaging the x's and averaging the y's. So um, it's going to be x1, which would be 4x, plus x2, which would be 0 over 2, and then y1, um, 2y, plus um, y2, which is this guy, negative 2y over 2, and we just simplify. 4x plus 0 is 4x over 2. 2y plus negative 2y is just 0. Well, this reduces again to 4 over 2 reduces to 2, so it's just 2x. And then 0 over 2 is just plain old 0. But what? Okay, here we go. Where's the midpoint of xy if the endpoints are those things? Similar situation, but a little bit weirder. You know, still kind of a weird setup. So average of the x's, 4a plus 0 over 2, and average those two numbers, and then average of the y's, 4b plus 0 over 2. Um, you get 4a over 2, and you get 4b over 2, and then we reduce it. So it's 2a and 2b. 4 over 2 is 2. All right, let's break it up. What's the coordinates in the midpoint of segment a? So there's a, there's b. There's the segment a, b, and we want the midpoint now. Guys, since it's um, since it's on a coordinate grid, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Let's see how far we have to go up to get to b. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 up. By the way, if we go 3 and a half up, 1, 2, 3, half of 7 is 3, so the midpoint's actually there. Okay, but you could do that um, and then calculate the coordinates, but we need to... We can be a little bit more specific on it. By the way, do you see the X and Y grid? It's a little hard to see. The X and Y um, axes are here and here. Okay. And then if we talk about how far left and right we wind up going, we go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven. It looks like another three and a half. So from here to here, we go three and a half. From here to here, we go three and a half to get to the midpoint. And that point actually is going to be negative one half, um, positive one half. And you could turn around and use the midpoint formula for this, whereas B is at one, two, three, three, comma, one, two, three, four, three, comma, four. And A is at one, two, three, four, one, two, three, negative four, comma, negative three. And we can average the axis and average the y. So we get three plus negative four over two. And then we get um, 4 plus negative 3 over 2. 
and that'd be negative 1 over 2, negative, um, negative 1 or positive 1 over 2 again, positive 1 over 2, which is going to get us to the same spot. Fantastico. Anyways, next problem. So let's do problem number 6 here. On a number line, the midpoint of the segment is negative 2. Name two possible uh, endpoints of the segment. Okay, describe how you found the possible endpoints. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to draw a line segment. Okay, the midpoint of a segment is at, at negative 2. So we'll call this negative 2 as the midpoint. And let's say, oh, if that's the midpoint, I'm going to say, oh, let's just add 5 to it for fun. So what's negative 2 plus 5? And that would be 3. So at this point, endpoint's at 3. If I added 5 there, since it's the midpoint, these two have to be congruent. So I would need to subtract her. 2 out of y, so that'd be negative 7. So the endpoints, endpoints would be negative 7 and 3. Woot woot. Okay, number 7. Suppose that Q um, is at 3, 4 is the midpoint of AB. If the coordinates of A are 7, 6, what are the coordinates of B? Okay, fascinating. So if I don't if I don't get how to do this problem, I'm going to try to graph it. So I'm going to say, okay, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's where Q is. Um, suppose that Q is the midpoint. So that's the midpoint. I'm going to write midpoint right there, just to emphasize it. And then 7, 6 is our, an endpoint. So 7, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that right there, oh, well, I guess squeeze that. That is point A. That's one of the endpoints. So if I think about this graphically, I know that the other endpoint has to be down here. If, oops. If Q winds up being a midpoint right here. Okay. So A is right there, Q is right here, it's at midpoint, so the other endpoint has to be kind of kind of in this direction. So there's two ways to do it. If you want to do it by counting, that's fine. Um, if you notice from here to there, I go down two, and they go left one, two, three, four. I can continue that. So I can go down two to this spot, and I can go left four, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to be right there is where... My other point is, we'll just, we'll call it B because it's called B in the thing. Otherwise, um, since Q, here's an algebraic way to do it. Since Q is 3, 4, and A is 7, 6, um, and we have this formula for midpoint. Um, and we know that that's got to equal 3, 4. Let's throw in the numbers um, for A, for point A. So 7, sorry about that guys, 7, 6, so I'm going to put 7 there, I'm going to put a 6 in here, and these two make an equation that we can solve, and then these two make an equation that we can solve, because for the this right here to be the midpoint, it actually... The x-coordinate has to equal the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate has to equal the y-coordinate, and that's kind of what we're doing. That's why we're setting them up. Now we can solve these two equations. Um, we multiply both sides by 2. 7x plus um, 7 plus uh, x squared equals 6 minus 7 from both sides, and we get x squared equals negative 1. And pictorially, that looks like that's in the right spot. Woot woot. Um, and then we turn around, we can multiply both sides by 2 again, and we get 6 plus y squared equals 8 minus 6, we get y squared is 2, and you know what, that looks like it's in the right spot. So our final answer though is B, okay, is going to be at negative 1, 2, and we kind of have to write that to the side, because if I leave this over here, if I leave this stuff over here, um, ooh, I'm erasing it, if I leave this stuff right here, I'm not really answering the question. I'm asked for the midpoint, so let's specify exactly what the midpoint winds up being. All right, guys, peace. I'm going to give you a second video for the next uh, for the next uh, for the next page. Thanks, peace, and have uh, Walter signing out, and have a have a great one. Keep working on.